well, you're not going to believe it. Over there where I was talking to you a while ago, over where the beans were, I got out and I thought on the way over, I thought, geez, my foot's getting a bit cold. Got out over here to undo this electric wire. I've lost a shoe. Didn't realise it. It's come off. Gonna have to go back and look for it. There it is. It's just one of these crocs and they just slip on. Oh, you wouldn't believe that, would you? How in the world didn't I notice that I'd blown a shoe? One of the problems in Australia are kangaroos on the road. Six o'clock in the morning, narrow road, still dark, kangaroo jumps off the bank and whammo, does this sort of damage. It's completely broken this bit off from under here and made a real mess of that. So somehow, I need to try fix it. Well, I know I bought the vehicle, but wouldn't you think if it's a truck or a ute, like a work vehicle, they wouldn't make the bumpers out of this city boy material. Unbelievable. Well, we've just spent half an hour checking for uh, kangaroos over in our beans, and uh, there was a couple in there, but not too many. It wasn't too bad, so um, we're winning the battle there. Uh, the couple that were in there, they jumped out, so that was pretty good. Um, so we'll come over tomorrow, check the fences again. It's just an ongoing thing when you're growing out in this area that you just have to continually uh, keep on checking for kangaroos and stuff getting in there. Otherwise, you're never going to be able to grow anything. So that's what I've been doing tonight. So we're going to pack up now. We're just going to go around and have a look at the cows around here with our big light here. And uh, once that's done, we'll pack up for the night, go and watch the footy. Well, we've got some cows through the electric fence. Now I'm just trying to get them back over here. Uh, and I just need to go along here and see where they got through. I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, we'll throw them this breed. Then we'll have a crack at getting them back through. Oh yeah, just push it down even more. Come on, get through there. Go on. Okay, that's got them through there. So now what we'll do is if this bull comes through. Okay, he's gone through. We'll put this wire across and lock them in where they are. So now what we'll do is just duck over here and have a look to see where they got through. Uh, I think they must have, oh, bugger me. There's another one over here. Look at this. Come on. Come on. One thing I don't want to do is let all the rest of them back in here. Okay, we've got those back in. Hopefully, that's where they stay until I find out where they actually got out. And I think what I might do is bring a battery electric over and run a wire to that. And that should, that should keep them in, even if I can't find it tonight where the problem is. That'll give them a good kick and keep them in here. So I think that's my next plan of attack. Right, we've got some voltage going through the electric wire now. 
uh, there was a hot spot on the wire and it had burned out and there was no power going past that spot so that's fixed the cows are back in fingers crossed they stay in there all night uh, none of them have got out yet again so we've got a battery electric hooked up we've got the um, power electric working as well so uh, hopefully fingers crossed that does the trick well here we are it's a monday morning again and uh i've had hay fever pretty bad over the last few days but what i'm going to try to do it's probably not a good idea to try to do it today but i'm going to is we're going to try to clean out the tractor shed here we've been storing hay in it over the summer uh but the hay's gone now so i need to drag all this crap out of there and maybe set fire to it um the only tractor i can get in here is the little red one so I don't know if I've got the implements to go on the back of it to do it, but I'm just going to try to drag it out with a um, carry-all on the back of the tractor. Uh, this has got a really good concrete floor under it, so I really do want to get it cleaned out. It's um, underutilised at the moment, so if we can get it cleaned out, I can use it for uh, some other stuff that I need to do in here. Anyway, I better make a start because every day... There's always someone coming up for a meeting or to visit or something. I'm getting absolutely nothing done at the moment, and it is frustrating the hell out of me. Anyway, we'll get stuck into this, see how we go. So I reckon the first job is to look behind this whole old door. Uh, so there's not as many eggs behind there as what I thought. So that's good. So we'll get rid of those, we'll get rid of the old door. Put it outside there somewhere. Uh, We'll clean this stuff out here and then get the tractor in here and try to drag some of this stuff out. Okay, that looked like it went all right. We've got a bit of a fire going here of all the old hay and uh, net wrap and stuff that we pulled out. So, uh, what I need to do now is just keep dragging this dirt out. I might have to get a shovel and break that up a bit. Pull the rest of that out where I can't get back to it. And then clean all this other crap out of here where the quad is. Uh, it should be good. Pretty happy with the way that went. It's time for lunch. <laughs> 